Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Christmas Part 2. I think in the first part I might have called it Let's Play The Sims 4 Santa, I'm not sure. But in this part I'm calling it Let's Play The Sims 4 Christmas, so that is very exciting. Anyway, in the last part, um, Grinchy, uh, who was Mrs. Claus's sorority sister, has come to stay with Santa and Mrs. Claus. And she locked Mrs. Claus in the basement so she can seduce Santa and inherit the Claus Enterprises to take down Christmas with her cousin, the Grinch. Uh, so anyway, Mrs. Claus is down here in a basement. Uh, she is asleep, so that is good. And look who is wearing Mrs. Claus's nightdress uh, just here. That is awful. Grinchy is in this bedroom sleeping. Let's get her up. Oh. And she knows that the way to Santa's heart is to make food. So let's go over here and serve some breakfast. She's not nearly as good a cook as Santa Mrs. Claus is. Mm. What's over here? What are you eating? He's eating chicken nuggets. Oh, Santa, you can't look after yourself without Mrs. Claus. He's being positive, though. If there's one thing Santa is good at, it's at spreading cheer and being positive. And he believes that one day Mrs. Claus will hopefully come back to him. Shibes. But he also at the same time thinks that he needs to just move on with life and continue working. Okay, it looks like he doesn't have time to have breakfast with Grinchy. But she's going to pull out all of the right moves anyway. Look at that. Look at those hips. Those hips don't lie, girl. Those hips don't lie. What was that? Oh, is that the TV? Oh my god, I thought something crazy was happening. <laughs> evil lesson. Grinchy is evil. Evil sims become happy from the misery of others and varieties of ways accomplish this. And have a variety of ways to accomplish this. Watch out, Santa Claus. She's coming to get you. Oh, poor thing. He misses Mrs. Claus so much. He's very vulnerable, oh, right? I can't say that. Very vulnerable right now. He's very vulnerable. Anyway, um, which means his emotions can be taken advantage of right now. So um, Grinchy's going to go ahead and do that. Oh, my gosh. She's crazy. She's like this crazy lady in the kitchen. Oh, my goodness. She's like, yes. Yes, kill the eggs. <laughs> oh wow, she is she is just a, a lovely lady, just a lovely lady. Oh well, at least she's reached level two of the cooking skill. I think what might happen is we will play the role of the secret elves, and we will actually take some little secret food down to Mrs. Claus oh. so she doesn't starve of starvation. Uh, die of starvation, I mean, starve of starvation. Uh, let me just get like a little table here. Uh, just, well, we may as well give her the Christmas one so that can sit on the table nicely. And the little elves, which is us, we will also give her a nice chair to sit on and enjoy her food with. There we go. Excellent. Oh my god, we are the best little elves ever. Okay, let's go back up to Santa Claus and oh! He's like, I'm not hungry, Grinchy, but thank you for all of oh. your help you've been giving me. Oh. She's like, oh, that's okay, Santa. Suit Chips yourself. To the yicks. Let's maybe get huh. to know Santa a little better because Persuania. she barely knows she Santa. Knows. I mean, she barely knows Mrs. Claus and chill. still ah. like Judah. insisted that she stay at Mrs. Claus's house, <laughs> ah. which is crazy because they're sorority sisters, but Mrs. Claus is so sweet. She's like, any stranger's welcome at my house. Whoa. Like they, she was probably like 50 years behind Mrs. Claus in the sorority house. <laughs> My goodness me. Uh oh. I feel like, you know what we should do? We should cheat up Grinchy's, um, we should cheat up Grinchy's charisma or we should conjure up a love potion for Santa and then maybe he will fall for her. So let's enthuse about interest. Just warm him up a little bit. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to wash his hands. Well, while he washes his hands, I'm going to go get a bar. And this is where she, we'll put it in the snowy backyard. Uh, we'll put it here. Let's see. Go to bar and she can conjure up like a love potion. I think a bar is the best way to do that. Okay, so we've got a nice bar here. It's got little lights on it. So let's get Grinchy to see what we can make. 
Uh, make a drink. Make a drink for Santa Claus. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I want to mix a particular drink. Make a drink. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? We might need to be in a flirty mood to make the one that I want to make. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into a flirty mood. Let's get the flirty love plumbub. Let's see. Lighting. Uh... Romantic decor. Okay, so once she enables this aura, she should feel flirty and then we can make the love potion. And that'll make Santa feel flirty uh, for two hours, I believe. So let's get this happening. Okay, she's feeling flirty. Uh, and let's make a drink, make a drink. And there should be Cupid's juice. Yay, here we go. Okay, so we can make that Cupid juice. All right, so let's get rid of that. I love it. She's so sneaky. She's going to poison Santa to fall in love with her. Oh my gosh. And then she's going to marry him and take over Santa Enterprises or Claus Enterprises. And then she will take over Christmas. Oh my gosh. We will have to save Christmas Day, you guys. Okay, so she's mixing that up. Damn, those hips. I can't get over those hips. I love it. Okay, so she's got that. Uh, let's get her to call Santa over. Uh, so we'll just click on him and say call over. Throw drink? Oh my gosh, that's so mean. I'd love it if we could throw the drink and he'd feel flirty. That would be pretty good. Where is come over here? Where's call over? Am I blind? Uh, where is call over? Okay, we'll just get him to go outside. She'd be like, oh, Santa, come drink this drink. Look at the love heart bubbles. I adore that. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. And they follow him. That's so cute. It just reminds me of Care Bears. Okay, Santa, drink that up. It's like, ooh, I suddenly feel all happy and warm and sad. Imagine if he turned green and then was like, became a Grinch himself. Nah, I think the love oh, potion's a better I idea. Do. I love a good seduction <laughs> story of the Sims 4. Okay, drink up, Santa Claus. He's like, ooh, so tingly. <laughs> All right, let's Needs get to her to make a move on him. Huh? Let's blow a kiss and see oh, what happens. Yeah, Roy. <sighs> Let's blow a kiss and see what happens and see him dramatically fall in love with Grinchy and not be able to contain himself because of the love potion she made him. Bambooza, you are so attractive, Santa Claus. I just love your tum tum. Uh-oh, looks like the love potion is working. She's like, come follow me, Santa. Let's make things more intimate. It's like, okay. Um, Back in Santa's bedroom, Lisa. something is happening. No, Santa, how could you? How could you kiss oh, Grinchy? Poor, uh -huh. poor, poor Mrs. Claus. Poor Mrs. Claus locked in the basement. Oh my gosh, this is so terrible. This is so terrible. He's been given this love potion. He doesn't so know what he's great. doing. Oh no, it's a Christmas tragedy. And all of a sudden, he is more in love with Grinchy than Mrs. Claus. How did that happen? My goodness, goodness me. Oh, dear. So the first thing Grinchy might ask to do is she's going to remove the Christmas tree and tell Santa that it's unnecessary to have in there. There's no need for presents or a Christmas tree in the lounge room. And slowly but surely, she is going to entirely remove Christmas. Uh, let's get them to have a little bit of a flirt, a little bit of a merciless oh, tickle, a uh, passionate kiss, and what else can we do? A little bit of a makeout and make sure that this... Uh, just make sure that she has Santa wrapped around her little finger. Oh, it looks like she can't sit down. Damn it, damn it. Oh, well, well, maybe they should go out then and have their first little date. Where would Grinchy like to go for a date? Hmm, the bluffs, the goths. Maybe we could go to Brindleton Bay because I just feel like I haven't really explored that town enough. Maybe we should go all the way to the Salty Paws Saloon. Let's go to the lounge, the pool lounge with Santa Claus. Obviously not Mrs. Claus because Mrs. Claus is locked. 
underneath the house. But they can have a little date and Grinchy can further wrap Santa around her little finger. And her plan is to marry him, have kids with him, and then inherit everything he has. Okay, let's go over here. Oh God, Santa. He looks so out of place here. Bibdo. And she's going to take him. Oh my gosh, Grinchy, what are you doing? She's going to take Santa to a romantic spot out here. Oh my God, should they get married? Oh, she should... Yes, fantasize about weddings. That sounds good. She can fantasize. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. I love that. That's one of those objects sized up. How cool is this table? Way cool. And then these are the bushes. Oh, wow, that, wait, 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 wait. Is that one of the tables? No, it's not one of the tables, but this is, this is what has been used before and so is this lavender. Very nice. Okay, so Grinchy's gonna fantasize about weddings and be like to Santa, one day I would love to get married here with you, Santa. It'd be so beautiful. He's like, well, maybe one day, Grinchy, we will have our own little Grinch elves. Oh no, she's being so evil. <gasps> oh, Santa, why are you kissing the Grinch? Okay, let's get her to ask for him to be her boyfriend. Whilst he's still married to Mrs. Claus as well, which is crazy. <gasps> okay, he's, he's Grinchy's. Oh my gosh, she's like, okay, let's make it Facebook official. Yes, Sanny, I can't wait to ride on your sleigh. Okay, Grinchy just became the girlfriend of Santa. Santa just became the boyfriend of Grinchy. Now, the funny thing in Sims is that you can have two relationships at once. Like this Mrs. Claus is still a spouse and Grinchy is still um, a girlfriend. And even though they are having this relationship, Grinchy will need to convince Santa to leave Mrs. Claus, which is what she'll do. <gasps> Did he say no? No! I thought he said no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's like, yes. It's because of the potion, you guys. He doesn't really want to leave Mrs. Claus. He doesn't know what he's doing. <gasps> this is so sad. Don't worry, you guys. We're going to sort this out. But for now... Grinchy's, Grinchy's been bad. Grinchy's been very bad. Let's switch to Mrs. Claus and see if she's felt any of this. Uh, if she knows about any of this, has her little Christmas elves told her the news of what they heard in Brindleton Bay? You know, I'm just really upset for her. It's sad times, it's sad times. But I feel like somehow we need to get rid of Grinchy before Christmas day. Okay, oh no, the poor lady has no idea. She's blissfully happy and unaware. She doesn't even know Sanders left her, but she does dislike him a lot with a bad romance and divorce. Well, I guess she's a very positive kind of lady. I mean, she does look a little bit heartbroken, but she's like, it's okay. I will get out of here eventually. I will be back with Santa Claus. We can only hope so. How is she feeling, by the way? She's actually in an amazing mood. Maybe we'll just get her to continue painting. Uh, because she has been enjoying herself and yeah okay girl you keep doing your thing let's bring back uh grinchy and santa back to the house oh <gasps> they need to get a rudolph reindeer <laughs> rudolph the dog reindeer i think we need to get in the next past part hashtag necessary uh and grinchy over here is thinking about the perfect weddings got you feeling a little flirtatious well her perfect wedding is probably like green and black. That's probably the wedding she wants to have. <gasps> she is not going to go. Oh my God. She's going to go see Mrs. Claus. Are you kidding me? <gasps> she is so mean. She's just going to have a shower in front of Mrs. Claus. She's probably telling Mrs. Claus, guess what? Santa left you and he's going to marry me. Mrs. Claus is probably like... I will get you back, Grinchy. You will not get away with this. The world will still have Christmas. She's painting for all the kids and people who ask for paintings for Christmas too. We better, like, oh, we should hide your food so Grinchy doesn't see because otherwise she'll confiscate it. Oh, well, she can't see it. She's too busy, like, being all Mrs. Claw Mrs. Grinch Clawsy. Oh, he's thinking they about trains. I swear, what does Santa do other than sit here and watch TV? I feel like Santa, you need to go for a jog. Let's go over here 
And do go for your afternoon run. He always goes for his afternoon run. Oh, friend. Let's say hello uh, to this guy. Oh, it's Jay Huntington the third. Love him. Love the outfit. Love the shirt. Love the sweater. Love the combed back hair. He's like, oh, Santa Claus. I have been dreaming of you since I was only a wee little boy. <laughs> okay, let's give um, a bright and day. Nor Describe Adish. aesthetics. Adish. Sam is like, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's <laughs> so ask cool. for cool. something to do with engineering. Oh, he's going to leave. That is so mean. Jay Huntington just left us as if, if, you meet San if you met Santa Claus, as if you would leave him. That is so rude. So rude. My gosh. <laughs> oh my god, there she is manically laughing again. Oh, she's looking very nice. Very nice and bored. Santa's gonna read a book. Very nice. Okay, what else can we do? We need to practice our mischief. That's what we should do. Get that mischief skill up. Hmm, let's so let's maybe go out onto the street and oh there's like no one around us because we live in the middle of nowhere oh my god i did not know there was an easel out here that is so nice i never knew there was a random easel on this lot oh and we've got some apples gosh santa and mrs claus just live the life over here okay let's go practice some mis mischief over here let's do a friendly introduction uh don't leave us sims okay there we go she's gonna run over um, she looks so weird. She's like, hello, Zoe. Okay, let's do something with mischief. Give fake bad news. This will make her feel really, really good and um, get her excited to ruin Christmas. So she's probably saying stuff like, I don't know. Christmas is dead. Oh my God, that is so mean. She's probably like, oh, you know what she probably does? She probably goes into Santa's workshop and alters all of the gifts. So like that hand buzzer was maybe like a nice new bike bell and then she uses it to electrocute Sims. That's so mean. Oh my god. Is she a crazy girl? You do not want to be stuck with her. Whoa, did you see her mouth? Wait, wait. Oh god. Oh god. Bob Barzo Bumbler. Oh, she oh, pretends oh. to be so sincere and she's like yeah, no. No. Anyway, another thing is what would her plan be in order to get the fortune of Santa Claus? Like I mean the easiest thing would be to kill off Santa, which is very very sad and we're going to do everything we can in our power to make sure that doesn't happen. But Grinchy here, I think Grinchy would use the um where is it the the planter yeah the garden pot that santa created i think she would use this to perhaps grow a cow plant a cow plant to kill santa with okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this in here and plant a cow plant seed okay but what we will need is we will need a cow plant seed so what we might do is get grinchy to go out um to oasis springs and fish for a seed which is totally dependent on luck so we'll just see if we get lucky uh okay so maybe let's go over to here and see if we can get to that water nearby i think there might be some fishing spots over here uh, which we may hopefully be able to find a cow plant and she's going to take care of that cow plant and try and grow it um, to get to its full size in order for Santa to try and eat the cake from it and then unfortunately get swallowed up by it, which means <gasps> that we won't be able to have Christmas. There is definitely no fishing spot here. Why did I, why did I go here? Now that was silly of me. This is not near the water in Oasis Springs. Okie dokie, so there is some water here. Let's go fishing here in Oasis Springs. I don't know if we will find a cow, uh, a cow plant seed here, but we will try our best. Um, so we're, she's just gonna go fishing away to find that seed to grow. Otherwise we could harvest different things and that would take a lot longer, but we can graft together 
uh, a plant that will grow a cow plant seed, but this is definitely the easiest way is to just try and find it in the water. So what I might do is just speed it up a bit and we can only hope for the best that we will get the cow plant seed in time. Um, meanwhile, Sans is probably just doing his thing. He's gone for his, um, oh, hello, goldfish. He's, he's gone for his afternoon run. He's probably having his afternoon hot chocolate and cookie and hot milk. Who knows, but we will keep fishing and looking for it. Uh, looks like the fish in the area are too crafty for Grinchy. Ooh, try fishing elsewhere. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to get her fishing ability up more. Hmm, is there a fishing spot over here maybe? Let's just try this one. You never know, we might get it when we least expect. Try again, look at all the fish in here. There's so many, there's bound to be a cow plant seed. Okay, oh wow, she also really needs to pee and she's really, really hungry. Come on, get that cow plant seed. Uh-oh, oh no, she's definitely losing interest. Okay, well, I guess in the next part, I'll up her fishing skill and I'll do a little bit of research for where we can get this um, cow plant seed from with fishing. I thought it was somewhere in Oasis Springs, but do comment down below if you know the answer to that, because that would be very, very handy. Okay, run girl, run! Okay, and then once we have that, we'll have to... We'll have to try and save Santa. So if you know how to do that, comment down below and let me know what you think of this Let's Play. Let me know what you want to see. Do you think we should adopt Rudolph, the red-nosed dog? <laughs> I feel like that is absolutely necessary. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.